Number 3. Royal Gourmet Charcoal Grill with Offset Smoker facilitates all your grilling needs with its upgraded version. A new design bringing you a better cooking experience with side and front tables for seasonings and plates. The primary cooking surface is featured with a porcelain coating that is easy to clean. A provides a secondary cooking space. To regulate heat, set the flexible charcoal pan at a desired distance from the food. Check for temperature fluctuation with the integrated lid thermometer. The offset smoker provides Texas style barbecue. Open the side door to easily replenish wood. Equipped with two wheels, the grill is easy to move around. Royal Gourmet Charcoal Grill with Offset Smoker is something you shouldn't miss for your upcoming backyard party. Love grilling. Love Royal Gourmet. Number 2. Today we're going to introduce you to Three Sisters Mexican Lasagna. Got to make sure you've got pulled pork in there, corn, beans, and squash. So let's get into the action. The first thing we're going to do is smoke our pulled pork. Now for this recipe, for the lasagna, you can use any kind of meat or no meat at all, but I find that when I do a couple pork butts, usually I've got a little bit of extra laying around. It's a perfect recipe for that extra brisket or pulled pork. We're going to make a beautiful little cave here where we're going to let our fire starters plug them in and then open that draft door on the bottom. Maximum airflow there, and that's going to start our charcoal the way we want it. Once we've got good glowing embers, we're going to nestle those chunks of hickory in there. Wait till you have ignition. You want to see those chunks catch fire. That's what's going to clean that smoke up from that white billowy big particulate, which is bitter smoke, to that clean translucent bluish smoke that we want. Get your cast iron nice and hot. Go ahead and put your onions in there. Get a little bit of color, then knock in that zucchini or squash. All right, we're going to saute that up. You're going to hear it. You need to make sure that that cast iron is hot enough so you can hear that sizzle. After that, we're going to knock in some of our corn and some of our beans. Don't forget that cumin and oregano. This is almost one of those dishes where it's one pot cookery, right? We're pulling everything aside, blooming flavors one at a time, building the complexity, and then we're going to put that shredded pork in there that took us six, seven hours. This is going to be a really, really big, bold flavored Mexican lasagna. So the rock star of this entire dish is the sauce. We're going to start with our chicken stock, bring it to temperature, knock in some cored tomatoes, bit of garlic, Check out these ancho and guajillo chilies. You shake them, you hear those little seeds in there. Got to make sure to get those out. Those carry a lot of bitterness. So we're going to take the seeds out, and we're also going to take the seeds out of that jalapeno because those carry a lot of heat. Next, we're going to knock in a little bit of bay leaf, cumin. Simmer that for a while, then put in your cilantro, blend it up, put it all back in, reduce it down a little bit. That's when we slice the onions and put them in. Beautiful sauce. A little salt here goes a long way. For this lasagna, we're not actually using the traditional pasta. We're going to use tortillas. And this is a fun way to get kids involved. You take out the pasta cooking. By putting the sauce in there, the moisture content with the cheese, the sauce, and all the other ingredients, it just makes them soft and pliable in the end. So you can just, boom, get in there and get all the layers. Now put that back on the grill, close the lid. You're looking for a temperature of about 450 to 500 degrees. Remember, we don't want to burn the bottom. All we're doing is making that cheese melt. So now that the cheese is melted, we're going to go ahead and take this off. Make sure you put a towel underneath your hot cast iron. That way you're not going to melt your side shelf there. And we're going to sneak some tortillas around the side. A little plate architecture, things standing up. Your eyes are always looking for contrast, so this is a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and do a bit of cojito cheese, canel of some sour cream in the center, maybe some cilantro on top, and avocado. Now that it's sat for a little bit, let's go ahead and get that spoon in there and bring it out. Look at that. Well folks, thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. This is a recipe very dear to my heart, so let us know how you alter it. Please continue to share your tips and techniques with us, and we'll continue to post these cool videos. Thanks so much. Check out the description for more info and latest price. Number 1.
Check out the description for more info and latest price.